I think overall common sense and being reasonable is, is really important during times of crisis and that's what we really need to remember and take away from this. Hi, my name is Bill Evans. I'm a real estate broker in Austin, Texas and I have been practicing real estate since 1995 so I'm going on about 23 years as a member of the Austin Board of Realtors. Disasters can happen at any time. We're talking today specifically of a flood but two or three or four years ago, we had wildfires in Bastrop County and in Austin, Texas, and people were displaced from their homes. I think one of the important things that I would like to stress is, with things like Hurricane Harvey, we had plenty of notice that this storm was coming. People need to be aware of these things. They need to be paying attention to the news. They need to take ordinary care and prepare for things, especially if we have four or five or six days notice. The other thing is <clears throat> life goes on and shortly after this disaster strikes, the mortgage companies are still want to get their mortgage payments. The landlords are still going to want their rent payments. And we all have to understand that we have all been traumatized. Life is going to go on and you have to be able to communicate your wants and needs. Our colleague members can go to the Texas Association of Realtors and we have lots of information there under frequently asked questions. There's all kinds of um, blog journal entries that have been posted at the Texas Association of, Re of Realtors for how to handle these emergencies. There's all kinds of advice. Um, but I, I think the bottom line, this forum today is sponsored by the ABOR Foundation. And I think it's really important that our colleagues investigate what the ABOR Foundation does. It does more than just disaster relief. And it's important for us all to be supportive of our foundation. And don't uncheck the box when it comes to dues billing. You know, we all need to participate in everything that goes on in our association. Thank you, Bill. You're very welcome.